Today we're talking foundation for a Texas Best Barnuminium right here in Waxahachie, pretty close to home for me. This is a shell only project. We were out here doing dirt work. I showed you guys a little bit of that. And we talked a little bit about our soil testing and our geotechnical reports that we had done on this build. I don't know that I gave you too much information, but this one did have a bad score. So it was a six inch potential vertical rise PVR, probably about the worst score you can get. It's got a lot of that black soil here, that real expansive clay. And for those reasons, a lot of times we are doing a post-tension cable system that we have for the main supports of the foundation. Uh, and you will oftentimes see us do some of the main footers. But whoever said that size doesn't matter, that's definitely not the case when it comes to concrete. Because we have such a high PVR when it comes to heaving potential, that means a lot of adjustments need to be made to the foundation, starting with soil stabilization. We talked about previously that potentially they could have done chemical injections here, but instead the client actually opted to do piers. So we've got the piers that went down to an acceptable depth. I would imagine it's gonna be 10 to 12 foot, but it might be a little bit more in some cases. We got 40 inch grade beams. Also, we have footings here that are five by five footings with a lot of extra rebar. So over 50 piers that are going under this slab. So what that means, guys, is this is a very, very thick foundation. Uh, and the recommendation from the geotechnical report was no more, no less than 3000 PSI, which will be doing a 3500 PSI here on this build expected to be about 160 to 170 yard pour. 